Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. Hey everybody, it's Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. And if you live on the eastern side of North America, you are probably hunkering down by the fire with a pillow on your neck and a blanket over your head as you're watching this snow come down. We are expecting 30 centimeters here in good old Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the 6th. And it's pretty scary outside right now on a Tuesday evening. But anyway, welcome to the GM mode. Once again, I love it that you guys are still watching this. We're at season two, defending our Stanley Cup title. And I wanna let you know, before we get going, this is my third run at recording this because when I started maneuvering the roster, I realized that our franchise player, Connor McDavid, was stuck in the minors. Not at the AHL, but in one of the, I guess it's the CHL, or one of the minor league teams. And here's the thing, with a guy that is qualified to play in junior, you must move him into the NHL before the preseason starts. If you do not move your your young guys that you want to have in the NHL that are in the minor league affiliate, you will lose him for the remainder of the whole season. So this is crucial because I need to move Connor McDavid on the NHL roster now. And if I don't do that right now, we're gonna lose him. And we won't have him till season three. And that is crazy. What I need to do is drop one of these scrubs here. This guy here, Granberg, is in the NHL and we wanna send him to the minors. And we're gonna send him right now. And in the system, we have Connor McDavid. And I'm hoping he's there because sometimes he goes missing. There he is. Right away, if you look here, what a steal at .925. He's under contract. And we want to call him up. We want to call him up to the NHL. And did it work? Thank God it worked. Because... He just goes missing. The only way you can find him is if you go to trades and try to trade him, but obviously you don't want to trade him. So boys and girls out there, if you're playing NHL GM and you have a young star like Connor McDavid, after the season ends, make sure you go to your roster moves and keep him in the NHL. You have to do that kind of after the free agency. Um, once free agency finishes and do it before preseason. So. He is in the NHL, and let's hope he stays there because if you guys remember, he was our Conn Smythe Trophy winner. And also, I'm going full out all in trying to defend our Stanley Cup championship, and I signed two more players. Yes, I'm not talking about Kessler and Goligovsky there. I signed two more guys, and what was thin in our roster from last season? You know what it, man. You know it. It was our defense. And what I did was I signed some two proven guys for our blue line. And I'm going to show you right here. Let's see here. Our defensive lines have now Keith Yandel, who just came into Toronto, and Kyle Quincy. And these guys are worth quite a bit, man. I have to say, they're worth in the, in the four millions and... And Yandel, I think I gave him almost five. So they are worth quite a bit. However, they're proven guys. If we have we have two solid guys on the first set, two solid guys on the second set, and our third set's pretty good with Harrington and Marinson. And I think we're gonna do even better this year. Let's hope we could defend our championship. And look at Kadri. He's moved up from an 86 to an 88. What I wanna do here is take out Peter Holland and put in our big guy. Look at Connor McDavid licking his chops. And he right away is going on the first line. I am so excited just doing this right now. And do we relegate Kessler to the third line? Would you do that? Or would you move Kessler as a winger for McDavid? I'm thinking we go top heavy. But what do you think? Right now, Tyler Bozak is he's moved to the right wing. And I kind of like that with Winnick. But where is good old Domi? I think Spalling needs to sit because I don't see Domi, Max Domi. Is he on the right side? Is he on the left side? He's on no side. 
So I'm going to take Spalling. And we got to put Domi in there. Change in all lines. So Max Domi, he, I'm going to move him right up. He is just, I love this kid. He's moved up. In the beginning of last season, I believe he was at a 79. So now he's moving up, and he's a high top six at only 21 years old. Another guy that I really love is Stefan Nolanson. And we traded, if you don't remember, Dion Phaneuf for him and, and some other guys. But he is just a fantastic asset to our team at only 23 years old, and his potential is at a high elite. Sorry, I'm talking a mile a minute. It's the T, man, caffeine. And I like Winnick down low with Beck. And that's a and and panic there, panic, not panic. And he's he's all right. The one thing here that we have to look out for is Komarov. Komarov, I don't know if how he's going to do. He's moving down in his overall rating, and we don't really have much wiggle room to to bring him down, you know. But if we look at our AHL team, are we have to see maybe if there's any guys in the 80s that we can flip with. Levo. Yeah, maybe Levo. Well, we'll see. It's a long season. It's a long season. But Levo may be a guy that we may bring up. But you know what? What I'm going to do right now is just move and put Ponick in there with Kessler. What I am so excited to do, and I've been thinking about this all day, is I can't wait to do the power play line. So let's see. Special teams. Now, I like... I like Kadri there, I really do. But how can you deny Connor McDavid as a first line, first line on the power play? So let's see, we're putting McDavid, changing current line. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna swap Kadri. So quick swap, put Kadri there, and Bozak as center with Domi. Yeah, that's great, look at that. These power play lines are fantastic. So that's the power play, four man power play. We're going to put Connor McDavid. I have a feeling Connor McDavid will be in the top 10 in points. Yeah, so that looks good. Let me just check out the five man quickly. So you have Kessler, Van Reensdyk, and that's a great, great power play. On the penalty kill, you got Kessler, Domi, great. Yeah, you don't want to overwork Connor McDavid. And the three-man PK, Kessler and Bozak, that's fantastic. So without further ado, I want to just check out the goalies. The one guy on the brink of being traded is definitely James Reimer. If we can get a right winger for Reimer, I would be totally happy. And Jonathan Bernier was at an 88, and he's just going up. And now he's at an 89. Things are looking fantastic. And we're going to start... I want to kind of simulate the whole month, but this is, no, let's just simulate the preseason quickly. It doesn't matter, you know, the whole preseason thing doesn't matter, but I want to get right into the beginning of the, of the regular season. So it looks like, let me just see here. So there's seven games. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we're going to simulate up to, hold on folks, let's just simulate, yeah, right here, that would be the end. So simulate up to this, up to this day. Let's see how this new team does. So in the preseason, we won 4-0, 1-5-3, <laughs> wow, 1-6-3, one, 1-6-3, six, three. when you got a team like this, is this, is this the Oilers from back in the 80s with Messier, Lemieux, Paul Coffey, Grant Fuhr, don't forget Yari Curry. They had quite the team, man. Don't forget Essa Tikkanen. Remember Peter Klima? <laughs> All the names are coming here. And what about Anderson? Anderson was awesome. So we went 5-2 and two in the preseason. And what I'm going to do is fast forward and really just simulate. Let's just simulate the whole month because I don't want this to take too long. Let's simulate all of October right now. And let's see where we go. Let's see where we stand. So waivers will be in effect, and that's fine. We have nobody that is on waivers or we want to pick up on waivers. We lost the first game of the season. Okay. I feel like it's going to be a good year for rookies. No problem. So we 
lost our first two games. Wait a minute. We lost our first three games of the season. Things are not looking good. We finally won one. Lost in the shootout. There are still some players I want to meet with you. Yes, we want to go to morale. That's not a good way to start the season. Unreal. Okay, Goligovsky wants to meet. There's a lot, okay, when you're as good as me, recent performance like these are just the norm. This is a lot of proud, okay, so good work. Let's see, I have to admit I've been unperforming lately. Everybody goes through rocky patches. So they always say picking seconds the way to go, and he's moved up. It's not like me to complain, but my lack of ice time is really frustrating me. I'm gonna pick the third one. I need you to go out there and leave me no choice but to keep you in. Oh, <laughs> see, if you don't pick two, not a good thing. I also have a feeling that when you fast forward quickly, you tend to, the team tends to play worse. So I'm going to slow things down because we're off to a terrible start to the season. One win and three losses. So we're going to face Chicago. But let me just double check our roster. <laughs> this is crazy because I cannot believe, you know, you, you start off good and then things change. Now, Already, they moved Kessler. No, Kessler was always there, but they moved Domi. Why is Domi on twice? That's one thing that I don't understand. I think that's why we're not winning. So Domi is playing. <laughs> He's playing like, that's just insane. He's playing too much. So let's see here. So I wanna switch. Quick swap spalling. I think that's why. Domi, this is, this is not ball hockey. He's not playing two shifts at the same time. So we have Bozak on the right wing here, which is fine. Winnick. Okay, so things look good. Let's see if the special teams are still the same. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that's all right. Thinking that's all right. So let's simulate slowly here, folks. Let's try to get a win. So we want to simulate. Yes, we definitely want to simulate. So let's see. Remember, as always, if it's your first time watching, we always simulate at four times speed. You don't want to go up. You don't want to go lower. I think that's just a perfect spot for us. So let's see how things go. So right away, <laughs> I'm laughing because remember when we had James Reimer in net, we were doing awesome. Once we put Bernier in net, even though his stats are awesome, he just doesn't seem to perform. Like, look, we're already losing one nothing, And we are off to a rocky start. And again, they always say, you know, fighters, they always say, it's always the hardest to defend your title. Well, even in hockey, you have to say, it's always really hard to repeat as Stanley Cup champions. But... I want to at least make the playoffs and do some noise in there. So after the first period, we are we are down and we're going to resume simulation. If we lose this game, I'm just going to fast forward the rest of the month and it is what it is. I really care about this team. I am all in. We signed all those guys. And I think our team just needs some time to gel. That's what I'm going to say. They need some time to gel. They need some time to just work together and who knows what's going to happen. It's still early on in the season. And we tied it. Kadri scores and 1-1 won, won against a very tough Chicago team. You know, Chicago, they're always in it. Every year, no matter what moves they make, they always have that core of players with Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves. And, oh, down 2-1. Five minutes left in the second period. I'm not going to be jumping into games, folks, for this episode. I just don't want to make the game, I make this video way too long. But as it stands right now, we're going into the third period. And I can guarantee the morale in the dressing room is not very good. But we're keeping pace with them. The shots are pretty much even. But we just need the Connor McDavid show to start happening here. And there it is, Goligovsky. Gets a goal. Oh, look at this. And there's McDavid. Speaking of Kata McDavid. 
It is now 3-2 Leafs, and we just scored one after the other. Oh, but Dano scores to tie it up. And it looks like here, folks, that the floodgates, not the floodgates are open, but the scoring floodgates are open. And Daly scores on Bernier. Come on, Bernier. There's six minutes left, and now we are down by one goal. And the Leafs, who showed a lot of promise here, are running out of time as they try to develop an equalizer goal with only two minutes left. Come on, boys. One minute 30. We're going to pull the goalie. Anything? Oh, and they scored an empty netter. Bieksa did, and we lost. So we <laughs> we are one. I guess it's one, four, and two to start this season off. And before I end this video, I am going to fast forward up until up until yeah November 4th and let's see to close this off if we could maybe just get a get a couple victories look we lost again things are tough people I'm still gonna search for forwards and we're searching way out of our North American zone but we won in a shootout we lost OT so we gained a point there and we won and we won right there 2-1 and going into actually November we are 3-5-3 three, and three, which is not good for championship standards and if we have to look at the standings just in our division we are sitting in 6th with 9 points and if we want to make the playoffs we obviously have to get into these top spots here obviously top 2 but you know top th 3 or 4 will hopefully get us in so we're only about 4 points out a rough get go, but let me know if you have any if you have any strategy with respect to how this team is placed. I feel like we have the skill, we have everything going for us, but we're just not performing. We're not gelling together. What I'm seeing as a red flag here is Bozak on the right wing. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe what I need to do is just put Bozak on the fourth line and put a true right winger there to make sure that everyone's playing their position. But anyways, people, it's been fun, even though it was a rocky start. This is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. Thank you so much for stopping by. You are amazing. Look at Ottawa at first at 11-1. I'm out of here.